In order to get to Leonardo Arms, we had to take a boat and then put our drone in the sky. And that's when we saw the devastation. The six-story condo building washed out on the first and second floor. Now just inches from the Gulf of Mexico. It is standing, but you can see right through it. This building never stood a chance against Hurricane Ian, but somehow it's still standing. We watched it moved like the building moved. I've been following the work of residents here since the springtime. They were trying to get permission to build a seawall to protect their building, but because of turtle season, all they could use were sandbags. Now Ian eliminated the 15 feet of sand that separated them and the Gulf to just inches. Now the problem is they're all stuck up there because all the stairwells are washed out and they're all falling into the water. The first two floors are destroyed, cleaned out. The bare pilings holding Leonardo arms up are exposed and only a ticking time bomb for a potential catastrophic collapse. But inside, people can't get down. So we've been handing ladders up to get them from the second floor down. And unfortunately, that's not even the worst. There's people hurt. There's a lot of people hurt. It people works. are marking the houses that the people have passed. And you'll see, you'll see signs, signs out front. And people can't get out. We don't know how many people tried riding out the storm here or if anybody that even stayed behind survived. But as the sun sets, we do know the destruction Hurricane Ian left in our community. Reporting on Fort Myers Beach, Gage Golding, NBC2.